Welcome back to Irons United and we have seen some news coming into West Ham that um, Marko Arnautovic has signed a contract extension. Matt, what does this do for West Ham? Um, gives him more value? I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. It's kind of thrown everyone a bit. I mean, I suppose we, at the start of the window, we did say this could be one of the things that happens with the whole... Oh, I want to leave. I think he could just say he could just get more money. Yeah, but I still don't really know. Like he he gave this big like, sort of heartfelt speech, didn't he? If you if you read the uh, the actual article, but it's like, does he actually want to stay? Because he's had to say it because obviously he did the whole yeah, but Matt, wave, wave Matt, goodbye after the Arsenal game. Matt, the thing is, right? Has he had to say it? No, no, not as in that, but. He said, I want to go, I want, if he, for me, if he'd have said, I want to go to China, they're offering me a bucket full of cash. Which is what he said in his, his, his social media post. What he though. said, but his brother went on TalkSport and went, he wants to go to China to win trophies. Well, you know, what I will say <laughs> is, I, 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 I maybe sound like I'm contradicting myself here, but I've done a video also on Arnautovic with Stell previously. And I was ripping into his brother left, right and centre and I'm still going to rip into his brother left, right and centre because his brother shouldn't be doing what he was doing. There's a but to this whole process though because I do believe Arnautovic wanted to go. I do believe Arnautovic knew what his brother was saying. But you know yourself, Matt, it's a little bit like, is it what they say, it's Chinese whispers. Someone says something, something changes. Someone says something, something changes. His brother's representing his brother, um, his brother and things may get said that are differently. I mean, I don't know. Arnautovic's reason for going to China wasn't to win trophies, mate. And I think we as West Ham fans know that. So that, that's what I'm wondering now, is is this that he's actually staying? And if he is staying, then fair enough. Is this West Ham... Because don't forget, we did this with Piat. Piat had that amazing season. And he had an even better, was it Euros or World Cup? And then like PSG wanted him and West Ham were like, oh no, you're not going... And then they said, stay for another year and you'll get like, was it a one and a half million pound bonus? They upped his basic wages and they gave him a big bonus and then six months later he left anyway. Hmm. So I'm just, because of that, I'm sitting on the fence saying, is this him actually wanting to stay? And if he is, he's, he, he, had, he had three and a half years on his contract, hmm. which would put him up to his 33. I haven't seen how long the extension is. So you're looking at least he's going to be 34, 35. Because he had three and a half years left anyway. This is, this is why I'm just a bit Skeptical sitting on the fence. Yeah. Because he, he had three and a half years anyway. Obviously, it is about the money. You know, I don't know. I, I, I can only speculate on what it is. I'm assuming it's going to be at least what Anderson's on, which is reportedly 150 yeah. a week. So you're going to guess that he wanted... I'm going to guess it's going to put, push him up to 150 <laughs> a week and what, maybe with add-ons, bonuses, 200 a week? I can't imagine... I didn't realise there was three years left in his contract, so I can't imagine West Ham have extended it crazily. If anything, they've extended it by a year. Worst case scenario, just to well, sign a like, contract. He, he, he had, he's 29, and he had three and a half years on his contract, which meant it would just expired when he was 33. Yeah. So if they've extended it, is it another year? Is it going to be 34? It's obviously more monetary based than good to the club, because I, he didn't need to commit more to the club in years, to be honest, because 33 for a Premier League striker is... On the older side, shall we say? Yeah. Like, 33 was the age he wanted to be leaving to go to China. Yeah. But if, if, if he comes back in, and it's the old Mark Manoutovic that we're used to, that's fantastic. But it if has, it's still Mark... It has to be. Mark, it has to if be. It's the Mark, if it's still Mark Manoutovic that played against Arsenal, then you've just fucking blown a load of money. Mm. The other flip side to this is that, does that mean that they're shipping out Hernandez? Yeah. Because... You've now got an out of each Hernandez and Anderson between them on four hundred and forty grand a week. Surely we can't afford that. Yeah. Um. I don't know, mate. It's going to be uh, it's going to be an interesting, interesting what. And then seven. you also say, how does this tie into Gomez? Because they keep saying well, this deal that we're going to sign Gomez. Get, get, get your comments in below and let us know what your thoughts are on out if it's signing the contract. Do you think this is, uh, um, you know, covering covering over the cracks? Is this, uh, 
is this a genuine deal? Does Arnautovic want to stay? Is he going to stay long term? I mean, we have to, we have to, you know, stuff's there written and clear for us to see. He, he said in his social media that he, he was considering something. He spoke to his family and his friends, which is, you know, whatever happens, we know that's probably going to be true. Um, whether the deal fell through, we'll never know. But he's now turned around and signed a contract extension. Obviously, that comes with more money for him, so he's going to reap the benefits. So do you think that Arnautovic is staying because he genuinely wants to stay? Or um, do you think there's something else, maybe brewing, and he'll, he'll be gone in the summer? Um, we'll, we'll, that, that'll be something we want to wait and see. But I want to talk to you. Get your comments in below and let us know. I want to talk to you about Maxi Gomez because there's strong rumours, Matt, saying that West Ham... It looks like West Ham are going to try and get this deal through the line, whether Arnautovic stays or goes. Yeah, talking about is... breaking our transfer budget uh, again, breaking our our, yeah. world, our record signing to what forty five million is it? It's the record stands at forty two million. Yeah, which we broke this year, uh, this season, and we're going to break that again by the sounds of it. Yeah, which is it, which is funny because all the so you know all the guys that claim to be in the know at West Ham, and that's that's just like, even people on Twitter like Lee, say like Lee Clayton, who's it Daily Mail, they all said no one like was going to go, like sorry no one was going to come in unless Anatovic left. Mm. But I turned on Sky Sports five minutes ago and they had a big thing up saying that this is they, they reckon this is going to get done and yeah. it's going to be a record fee because you know Sol Vigo won't sell him for less than the release clause, which is. 50 million euros, about 45 million or something. Yeah. With the fact that we're probably going to loan him back to the end of the season. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, West Ham fans, I'll be honest with you, didn't know a huge amount about Maxi Gomez, but since we've started the links, uh, I do this with every player, I really dig in deep. I start reading some scout reports. Really sad, actually, I look into the statistics and what a lot of people are saying about him. So I'm going to give you a quick rundown on what they could potentially expect with a certain Mr. Maxi Gomez if West Ham do sign him. Obviously, we know South America are very, very clever in producing a long list of quality players. To name a few, Salas, Batistuta, Ronaldo, Falcao, Suarez. It, the long list continues. Um, but what they're saying is this is the late, latest model off the production line. Um, and they have Celta Vigo landed themselves an almighty... Uh, top-notch quality player that a lot of big clubs around the world are looking at. He was picked up for just five million euros in the summer uh, last summer or two summers ago, um, and potentially is linked to a, a record move to West Ham for what 45, 50 million, Matt. Something around that, yeah. Um, he started his career playing in um, defence or sporting in Uruguay, but. The interesting thing about that was, and this is how he kind of he rose to fame because he was it was in a October two thousand and fifteen during a penalty shootout. Um, the last sixteen, he was in the team huddle and uh, they were looking for someone to take the last um, penalty. And he put his hand up and he turned around to the captain and said, "I'll do it." And the captain was like, "Nah, nah, nah." He's like, "No, no, 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 I'll do it." And he went up and he scored the goal. And then ever since then, he went on a totally crazy, crazy, crazy run with that club. Um, score like good like scoring goals left, right, and center. Anyway. Celta Vigo signed him, um, and I think, no, sorry, before that, it was 14 goals in 21 matches in 2015-16 season. Um, what they're saying about him is he's a fearless striker. Um, he always puts himself in front of the, uh, in, uh, on the line for the team. Um, his ability to jump in the air, his ability to, to dive in headers, they seem to talk about he must score quite a lot of diving headers. And he puts his body on the line. It's a big trademark. He's a big. He looks like a big, muscly forward as well. I don't know. Sometimes I look at him and I think he's got a similar stature to Antonio. Um, he's powerful, physical, um, and they say that he draws also some comparisons to Suarez because he's a very, very clever footballer. Um, and obviously, he did sign for Celta Vigo. Uh, I'm just trying to see if there's anything else there that I can think of. I mean, from what I've said to you. I mean, I don't know. Have I sold him to you, Matt? <laughs> he sounds... The best thing I can say, I was, I was watching Sky Sports the other night and like you, you've just done, they gave like a da like a dossier on him because everyone's like, who's this guy? You know, because don't, don't forget, he's played for a team in a relegation battle in Spain. Mm -hmm. But I think he's still in double figures this season. 
Well, let me break, let me break it down a little bit more. In two seasons for Celta Vigo, he has played fifty six games. He has scored twenty six goals, and he's had nine assists. So it's got every other game. The guy's involved, collectively involved in thirty five goals in fifty six games. He's involved in, and the season is not even done, and the team are in a relegation battle. This guy's got that ability. On top of that. Top of that, a lot of his goals come against the top half of uh, of the Spanish league. He scored against Barcelona, he scored against Real Madrid. Um, signing this guy for me personally, I mean, I- I'm excited by him. I really am excited by him. W- there's a rumour there saying that we're going to sign him and send him back to Celta Vigo. What's your thoughts on that? Because my thoughts are, I just want him to stay. I want him to stay. If we bought him, I'd want him to stay, but the, the thing that the rumor that I read was basically like like we said the sort of ego in a relegation battle, and they know that if they sell him and he goes, they will be down. Much like a couple of years ago when we tried to get Sunderland to sell us Jermaine Defoe, yeah, and Sunderland wouldn't do it because they knew if they did, they get relegated. And in the same way, it looks like they're going to do it again. Yeah, so they don't want to sell him. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm not give me fucking discount. <laughs> Freaks. And they said they were going to, you know, they don't. <coughs> yeah. So they basically, but like you said, we, we spoke the other night and we said we were worried that if we wait until the summer, the, the option won't be there. Yeah, if we have, I, 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 I doubt it. I, it looks like it's Pellegrini's man. This looks like it's another Anderson situation. In order to get it over the line, he may have to buy and then loan back. I don't like that though because I don't like the fact that he's. Uh, uh, well, that's what they say is a big team um, mentality, but we're not used to that, Matt. We're not used to signing our record signing and sending them away for half the season. That's confusing to me as a West Ham fan. That's confusing to you as a West Ham fan. Get your comments in below and let us know your thoughts on Maxi Gomez and what, what I've read you and described as him as a player. But what are we going to say there, Matt? I say it's confusing, but like, like if you read the rumours, the teams are looking at him, like they say Barcelona are looking at him. Mm. If Barcelona are looking at him and you can get a deal done now, you have to do it because he's not going to... If it comes around in the summer and Barcelona go, we've got the money now, we're going to buy someone, Yeah, you're going to go to Barcelona. Here's one for you though, Matt. Do we have to send him back if we get rid of Perez and Hernandez? Unless we're sending them Perez and Hernandez. <laughs> if, if you could put that off on the table and say to them, you know, if you let us have him now, we'll loan you Perez and Hernandez. Yeah. Maybe you can keep him. Yeah. You never know, mate. You know, you know how our, you know how our squad. Maybe, maybe, maybe they can work. tempt him. Maybe they can tempt him from you know. You let us keep him. We'll send you out Perez and Hernandez on loan for us the season. Do, do, you know, think. Let's rewind slightly to Arnautovic. We know fans are going to get a bit of the hump because of the timing of that coming out, right? And it's just typical West Ham. What do we expect with these things, right? But it's not the end of the world. At the end of the day, we're at the FA Cup. Shit. It is shit. That is, that is the end of the world. But um, announcing our outfits after it, bad timing, but hey-ho, it's done. I, I it? think it's, uh, it could be intentional timing, yeah. honestly. Yeah. I, th- I think they're probably going to hold it for like tomorrow, a decent time. Because yeah. West Ham never drop Twitter announcements at 10pm. 10, 10 yeah. They, they just don't. So that was obviously... It's been done. They're probably holding it for the next for tomorrow, and then this has happened, and it it was a bad, disastrous result. And well, they didn't, they didn't even have a picture of him holding his new contract or his sign top or whatever, you know. No, so, yeah, yeah, they they always have that. Like if you look yeah. at the last couple of big players that have done it, yeah, they, they always have that West Ham shirt with the year the contract runs out on. It's good intent, no mate. It's good intent. We've we, we've 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 handled a situation. We haven't fell under pressure. We haven't sold our player for nothing. We've 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 done what we set out to do. Um, is this the Pellegrini effect? It must be because if you look how the whole player <coughs> situation went, normally the club we are, if someone says they want to leave, they get sold. Mm. Like it just that's how like it goes down. Whereas Pellegrini's put his foot down and said he won't go for less than I want. The club haven't matched it. And I said maybe it's some of Pellegrini. And out of it, said he had to sit down and talk to his family. Maybe maybe this was the plan all along. Maybe he just wanted more money. Yeah. Maybe he thought if he ruffles his feathers a bit and says, I want to move somewhere that can give me more money. West Ham will turn around and give me more money. All we want, Matt, though, is our out of to turn up, score goals, show the passion, work 100%, not put his head down, keep his head up and uh, show the passion for the West Ham fans. None of us are bothered about hammers crossed. We do it. It's just a thing we like to do. 
<coughs> we've got a picture of him on our screen with his hammers crossed right now. Um, but it's just, you know, it's just all fickle shit. It's just, let's just get the guy back in the squad. We need him. We absolutely do need him. It, um, it's just the thing he does with the fans. It's not even like a West Ham yeah. thing because, like, Mark Noble never does it. Right? And he's supposed to be Mr. West Ham. Right? Yeah, exactly. Um, get comments in below. Let us know what your thoughts are. I mean, it is mouth watering at the thought. It, I mean, Matt, here's something for you. If we were to bring Gomez in and he was to stay, just the t- right timing for Lindsay Nee coming back. You've got Arnautovic. That, that you've got Gomez. Had for everyone in the team. You've got Lindsay Nee. You've okay. got Anderson. You've got Declan Rice playing on form. Like, there's players there that we can get rid of to make sure this Gomez deal goes through and keep him, in my opinion. Don't forget, he's still got, like, Jan Link having to come back. I, I mean, I'm, <laughs> that's another player I'm massively excited about. <laughs> It is my sport in me. It is my you, you can't get them all in, but you couldn't fit them all in the team. It's just eight, sorry, our defence, and then we're all right. Now, if you, yeah, if, well, if we get this going, with this, <coughs> after that, you, we literally need to start like forget looking at attacking players because. Well, I don't know, mate. You know, I, think, I, I don't think he is going to stop. Not forget looking at them, but like you, you've got then if you sign if we sign Gomez, that's fifty million. Anderson's forty million. An average of twenty five million. Yeah. The Armelinko's eighteen million. You're looking we, at like I still think we need hundred and. I still think twenty hundred thirty pounds worth of set of forwards. I still think we need another striker, and the striker I would like to bring in at that stage is someone who's willing to maybe sit a little bit more on the bench and play games as Zekel and Jekyll. If we uh, get him, that would be yeah, again, he's an option off the bench. Yeah, I'd, but uh, I think that would that would be one for the summer. But yeah, after that, you need to look at defenders. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've we've got one decent centre back. We've got Diop right now, who's fit. Yeah. Babuena, but, but as we've seen, if Babuena is injured, yeah, what's your rotate, rotation option? Yeah, right. Listen, we've bored you enough with the Maxi Gomez and our out of it situation. He signed the contract. Let us know what your thoughts are. Do you believe him? Does he want to stay at West Ham? Let us know your thoughts on Maxi Gomez potentially incoming to West Ham and the mouth watering prospect of them two playing together alongside Anderson Lanzini coming back from injury, Yarmolenko coming back from injury, Declan Rice signing a new contract. It is mouth watering. We've just been knocked out of the FA Cup, but hey ho. Shit happens. <laughs> We're just used to it. We're West Ham at the end of the day. He's been Matt. I've been Anton. Get a comment below. Subscribe to the channel. We're Angel United. Come on, your hands. Come on, your hands.